I was an English literature major in college. I was dead set on going back to uh, my high school, Flathead High School in Kalispell, Montana, and I was going to be a high school English teacher. I was serendipity brought me into a facilitator graduate student's dissertation project and that, that graduate student saw something in me that I never thought existed. I'd never had a math background. I never knew that that was statistics and it was supposed to be hard or it was supposed to be anything other than this is what you do. Professor Todd Little is Director of the Research, Evaluation, Measurement and Statistics Program at Texas Tech University in the United States. I have been doing this for over 30 years now um, and what I wanted to try to accomplish with my prestige lecture here today is encapsulate uh, the journey of learning that has taken place with me for these last 30 years. Some of them have been innovations in a particular technique, others of them have been maybe more of a melding of philosophy of science and how do we approach uh, knowledge and understanding. I was introduced to this guy who was a developmental psychologist. Little did I know that he was one of the premier quantitative specialists. And as his first graduate student, I was put in a position where I needed, where I was learning all the things that he knew and I never knew that that was statistics and it was supposed to be hard or it was supposed to be anything other than this is what you do. What was really nice is that Keith was patient, helped me understand these concepts from a non-mathematical way and then that kind of has helped carry my career forward is my ability to explain these concepts non-mathematically because it's only one way to understand them. There's others too and when you run across somebody who can teach it to you in a way that you can resonate with well then it's logic. Choosing your colleagues well and just learning from them has been probably one of the most important career trajectory experiences that I've had. As an interdisciplinary oriented collaborator, Professor Little has published with over 340 persons from around the world in over 67 different peer-reviewed journals. His work has garnered over 30,000 citations. He recently visited South Africa to connect with colleagues at Optentia and shared his insights into a complex topic that has proven to be a challenge to many researchers. I, I don't think it's going to necessarily be a math background as much as it is systematic thinking. And that's really that logic is very systematic thinking. It also lends itself well to things like programming, learning software to conduct what you need to conduct. But the concepts, um, <clears throat> they are logic. And once you kind of realize what the logic is and that the numbers are there to represent an idea as opposed to numbers for numbers sake, then I think there's an easy opportunity to master. So bringing down the fear factor, opening up your mind to, and hopefully finding somebody who can educate you in a way that is not necessarily driven by the math. There's too many instructors of statistics lead with the math and turn people off because the concepts that they're trying to get across are only presented mathematically and not conceptually. I mean, essentially we are pursuing what I refer to as verisimilitude. Right? So we have to start breaking away and innovating uh, and developing our, tech, our, our methodologies as we attack these questions, especially because our research questions have moved beyond the simple and the sovereign. We've moved beyond main effects. We're talking about mechanisms, processes, moderation. We're talking about complex multivariate systems that we're trying to disentangle and represent. And how do we bring that together so that we can answer those questions in such a way that we have verisimilitude? Open yourself up to it, create a culture for it. So working with other master students, maybe have reading groups, uh, work groups, play together when you're working on analyses, go to as many trainings as you can get, whether it's a you know 45 minute colloquium talk or something that's been recorded like uh, my prestige lecture was at NWU. Review those and put some time into them. It really, I recommend if you make the methods a priority and you master them, the substantive research questions that you are that you're passionate about will become so much easier to do than if you focus here and not enough here. 
then it becomes a struggle to let your passion come to fruition. We need to start thinking about moving away from the me-search model to what I refer to as a we-search model. And there have been calls for interdisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, multidisciplinarity. The only way that we're going to be able to accomplish those kinds of calls is to establish teams, true research teams. And a true research team is not going to be, here's my data, give it to a statistician, the statistician goes off, comes back with a table of p-values and says, here's your answer, and then you ask, well, do you remember what my question was? We need to create those research teams that I've talked about, and those research teams shouldn't just be isolated in one location, that they need to become internationalized and, and setting up networks to be able to start making those connections, to develop those research teams. And when you do that, then a lot of things go away from borders and revolutions to accomplishing really good research. To Professor Little, his work goes beyond mere research. It is also a matter of social justice. It's been such a remarkable experience for me and a joy. It's just something that I'm passionate about. I've always enjoyed being able to help people go to the next level with that research question because you know as well as I do, I feel like it's a matter of social justice that we do it right. Um, and anything I can do to help facilitate that, I'm happy.